I know, right? Mm. Oh. <coughs> Yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi, the glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Kanari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed spoke to me. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So, they need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice to dragons. <laughs> mm. To finding the biggest, baddest things in the world and showing them that we're badder. Anan. Inquisitor. That's got a good ring to it. We're happy to be here, Your Worship. You need anything, let me know. Iron Bull said the chargers were at my disposal. Do you have any suggestions on how to use them? I suspect Haven's quiet by the enemy's strength. We could even pick up any stragglers who haven't found Skyhold yet. Can we talk about the Bull's chargers? Best company you'll find from here to the Anderfells. In my time with the Chief, we've gone up against everything from bandits to magic trees. We're expensive, but you'll never doubt we're worth it. Want to know anything in particular? You said something about everything from bandits to magic trees. I'll admit to some curiosity. Right. Sylvans. That's what Dalish called them. Apparently spirits can possess trees, too. Some noble in the Dales, and they really don't like it when you call them Dalish nobles, had a haunted forest. His family had abandoned the land, but he wanted it back. The chief bought us all axes, and in we went. Between the axes and the torches, the Sylvans weren't too bad. Worst part was the squirrels. Are there rules for how mercenaries operate? If you don't want some noble to treat you like bandits, yes. There's also a code of conduct most companies hold to. Keeps things civilized on the battlefield. We accept surrenders for ransom from mercenaries, nobles, and soldiers wearing a lord's colors. Our prisoners are treated well, injuries tended. We'd want the same for any of ours who got captured. Do the Chargers specialize in anything from a tactical standpoint? Bull doesn't want us large enough to work as an army. We're better as shock troops, as skirmishers. We've got archers for hitting enemy infantry, Dalish with me more archery, and Skinner and her people on the flanks. Rocky handles fortifications and traps, and Stitches keeps us all fighting. They mostly hold back. I'll lead the frontline fighters with Grimm, and the Chief goes wherever he can hit something. We'll talk later. I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning? Hey you, 
I have an inquisitor favor to ask. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? All right, let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. It's a red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land squabble. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through? Just walk through. Easy, right? What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you active. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. Just like always. Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away, but having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger ears, I guess. Shut up. Who is asking for this? I'm asking because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. It must be sad, feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No. I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? Walk me through the way you help someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something, food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack. Fix it, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to here, makes me a person, calls me kid, a friend. Solus, bright and sad, observes and accepts. Spirit self, seeing the soul, Solus, but somehow... What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it, you reach across. Mindful meaning. You pull it through to this side, make it real here. And past that, the weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight. 
You are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Stefan finally died. It was a blessing, really. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Keep banging your head against the problem. It'll go away eventually. <laughs> I'm predictable, I know. I suppose I'll never find them on my own. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow, yet so far I have only discovered hints. But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use Lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the Lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the Lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find... Finding them obviously means a lot to you. I left the Order. But I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Beric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption? What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of Wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. Are you feeling all right? No voices or anything? If I start hearing things, I promise you'll be the first to know. How much do you know about Corypheus? Not much. I always thought the stories of Magisters corrupting the Golden City were just that. Stories. I didn't expect them to be true, and I certainly didn't expect to find one of them still alive. Let's discuss something else. 
Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. That won't stop. He's a magic. I hope it helps. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia. Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. You're rather good-natured about threats of death and dismemberment. They are chiefly bluster, Inquisitor. Most of them. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antifa. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah. Can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? Is relaxing really this difficult for you? Of course not. Well, <laughs> occasionally. 
I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. You've been working continually since I met you, Josephine. And that can't stop. I must be going. But I leave feeling less troubled than I have in weeks. I don't know. The first one has spoiled shit. Hard to help with these. Whatever they are. Fertile ground. Even here. This hold has everything. Right. Inquisitor. Inquisitor.
Are you all right, Leliana? <sighs> Are you? I suppose not. Haven was trying. Welcome to the Western Approach. We've sighted Warden activity to the Southwest, but no one's been close enough to figure out what they're doing. Between the sandstorms and the vicious wildlife, we haven't made it far out here. One of my men got too close to a poison hot spring and gave me a slightly delirious report of a high dragon flying overhead. In short, this might just be the worst place in the entire world. Be careful out there. Are you worried about me? Someone has to be. And try not to die. I don't want to deliver that report to Skyhold. We intercepted a Venatory messenger and, uh, this entire place. It just feels like something's not right. Be careful. What is it? This may be worthwhile.
None of this should be here. Some shit's getting an ass full of arrows. I guess someone out in the desert is missing a bunch of stuff. What happened here? None of these poor sods had knives or shit. Who'd do this?
If the Venatori sought something here, it may be worth finding. There's a distinct pattern. A keystone, perhaps. Keep searching. There may be more.
still need something. Sarah, I had a thought. The next time we run into a line of enemies, I'll pick you up and throw you. Get off. No, this could work. I loft you over the front ranks. You land behind them to flank. Mayhem ensues. I can't fly, you daft tit. Think of the mayhem, Sarah. Mayhem. I'd get a wedge up something fierce. Look, you and Varric are the only ones small enough, and he's pretty dense. We'll do some bloody presses. Poking. The whole place feels wrong. Let's just kill them. Feel an 
another of the Elven artifacts. Next time, the damn demons can stay frozen. A chantry symbol out here. Odd.
me we're fighting her, boss. on. Someone at Skyhold will have a solution. 